Look, it is peeling up like crazy. Look at that. Does it sting on the skin? Because, I mean, venom, I imagine it that it's going to be... My cheekbones just feel a little bit higher <laughs> for some reason. Does that even make sense? Is that even possible? Hello, guys. Today, we're going to be putting to the test another iconic essence in the Korean skincare world. This time, it's going to be the Snail Bee High Content Essence by Benton for one entire week and actually see what results we see in our skin or if we don't see any at all. But now, if I have to be honest, I'm a little bit concerned and scared about the bee venom in this because, girl, I have no idea if this is going to have a bad reaction to my skin. But anyways, if we read from the bottle, it actually says the Snail Bee High Content Essence is is tested under dermatological control. Oh, okay, so it shouldn't be any kind of concern. Okay, that's good. The snail secretion filtrate B venom and oligoshepeptide 1, no clue what that is, and various botanical extracts are used to help improve your complexion. Okay, so we're definitely supposed to see an improvement in glowiness and hydration in our skin, but I want to give you a little bit more information. Basically, snail mucin is amazing for our skin because it actually stimulates collagen production. And if you guys didn't know, collagen is literally what makes our skin look youthful, plump, moisturized, glowy, and young. And on top of that, get this, I was totally shocked when I read this, applying bee venom on your face basically tricks your body into thinking that you literally have been stung by a bee all over your face. And so the body, in the attempt of healing and repairing your skin, is actually going to send a lot of blood flow and nutrients to the face, which essentially is going to make your skin look a lot more youthful, plumpier, more moisturized, also a little bit of anti-aging out of it. So so really, this is supposed to be super beneficial. I am totally hooked by this bee venom snail mucin thing. I have also, by the way, tried the Cosarex snail mucin power essence in this video card right there if you want to go watch it. And I have to say, I definitely loved that essence. It is one of my all-time favorites. So I really want to see if it's going to hold the same as that. So really, Benton, show us what you're capable of. Without further ado, let's get to experimenting, shall we? Okay, guys, I have already cleansed and toned. Now it's time to apply the essence. Now, I want to show you what my skin looks like to begin with. As you can see, I mean, there are a little bit of crow's feet right here that are starting to show. And also, I don't know if you can tell, but like fine lines on the forehead. I mean, I am 20, but they're definitely already starting to show. So this is supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles and stimulating that collagen and also helping with hydration. And my skin is definitely feeling a little bit dry. To be honest, I'm really curious to see, first of all, what the venom smells like because I have no idea. And also, does it sting on the skin? Because, I mean, venom, I imagine it that it's gonna be, oh my god, it's jelly-like. I was not expecting this. I was definitely expecting this to be a lot more liquidy. Good news on the skin, it's definitely not stinging how we thought we did. It's really thick and sticky and gooey. I definitely like it, because like, compared to the Cosarex Snail Mucin Power Essence, I feel like this is thicker than that. And as far as smell goes, guys, I literally cannot smell anything at all. Like, it's just fragranceless. But anyways, guys, first impressions, it definitely seems very hydrating and moisturizing because it is thick and gooey and sticky. And also, I'm happy that the bee venom doesn't sting because that would have been a little bit uncomfortable. I'm definitely curious to see what actually is in this. So we'll see about that. So it's day two. Before we go any further with this experiment, however, y'all know me, I like to nitpick everything in the green list because that is really a telltale sign if the product is actually going to give us good results or bad results depending on if some ingredients might be bad for our skin. Anyways, let's start reading together. The first I see is of course snail secretion filtrate. So it's actually really good that it's the first ingredient after water. That means there's a lot of that in this so they ain't scamming us. Ooh, niacinamide and also some glycerins. Glycerins are basically supposed to moisturize your skin and soothe the skin, hydrate it. But niacinamide, it's supposed to reduce the redness in your skin, also brighten up your complexion and also reduce the appearance of pores. Then there's also Aloe Barbalendia Sisal Leaf Juice, which is basically aloe vera gel. And if you guys didn't know, aloe vera, not only is it amazing at just soothing your skin, but also you can apply it on burns or maybe on scars because it is really healing and it has healing properties. So I feel like they kind of put this in to contrast the bee venom in this. Then there's also, right, so then there's bee venom and we already know what that does. Super interesting. Then there's also Plantago Asiatica Extract. I was right, guys. Plantago 
level. Not only is it shown to reduce the under eye bags and also soothe the skin, but is also known for its healing properties. And once again, especially healing any bug bites and also like poison ivy. So it definitely really makes sense that they put that in this right after the bee venom. Because so the aloe vera gel and the plantago together, they're going to basically neutralize and soothe the skin from the bee venom. I see you there, Benton. You know what you are doing, honey. I see you. We good. Okay. We good. I see you. We see each other. We see each other. <laughs> Anyways, guys, keep on reading. I see a lot of other plant extracts, which are definitely very soothing and moisturizing. Again, very nice to the skin. Panthenol, other glycerin-based ingredients, which we definitely approve and like. But most interestingly, I don't see any fragrance. So I'm definitely very surprised and happy about it. <laughs> Benton, I am really in love with the ingredient list. I have to tell you this. I can really tell that you really studied it and you came for the girls. Even though I'm in awe in love with the ingredient list, that is no reason for us to approve it quite yet because we definitely have to see if we actually see any results at all from the bee venom and the snail mucin, whatever this hocus pocus is. So it's day four. I'm now applying this essence in the morning just because I really thought about it and I don't see no reason why you wouldn't be able to apply this in the morning or at night. I wouldn't however apply this both in the morning and at night because I feel like the bee venom would be a little bit too much like if it were only like snail mucin then I'd say go ahead I feel like my skin maybe is looking a little bit more firmer just in the cheekbone area especially I don't know my cheekbones just feel a little bit higher <laughs> for some reason does that even make sense is that even possible mm, that does make no sense and I have to say whenever I apply this on my skin definitely is glowier but guys if you have watched my review of this Male Essence by Cosarex. One of my complaints was that that was peeling up when I used certain products and especially I found out when I was doing a morning routine and so using antioxidants. So this is why I'm trying it now because I really want to see if this will peel up as well. Okay guys, really good news. The essence is not peeling up, especially it used to peel up when I was applying resveratrol by The Ordinary. And as you can see, like, look, it's not peeling up as anything. So you guys, I feel like it passed the test of not peeling up. A few moments later. <laughs> so guys, I spoke too soon. I should have kept my mouth closed. Because look, it's peeling up now. As you can see, there's the peely bit. And it's peeling up on the neck, as you can see. Which is definitely really weird because why would it not peel on the face? Look at how much it's peeling on the neck. Look, it is peeling up like crazy. Look at that. Okay, guys. So I'm applying this essence one final time because it's day six, guys. So in this week, I have definitely found a few things that it's worth talking about together. But so ultimately, Ultimately, now I'm gonna wrap my final thoughts and results and actually tell you guys if this is worth the purchase or not. So you definitely have to keep on watching. <clears throat> <clears throat> Benton, Benton, as you can see, I had to dress the part. I had to become a bee for this video because you might have snapped. Let me tell you something, okay? This might probably be the best essence when it comes to snail mucin slash bee venom just because of the power that this holds, the talent that this has, the international implications that this holds, the power that that has, the intelligence that that has, the international implications that that has. But let me actually get into why. I love this so much. First of all, I have to say, Benton, the formula, as Big Sean once said, these hoes be doing research. These hoes is you. You are hoes. This <laughs> hoe over here. What hoe? Me. Oh. That is because this formula is just so thought after, so amazing. You truly put in aloe vera gel, plantago, which are soothing ingredients, right after the bee venom. So to contrast... Don't you dare. Now see, you be playing bad, what is happening? You be playing badly and in AQ because you is making all these other skincare brands out there look bad with their products formulations. They ain't doing it like you are. Who's checking you? Nobody is. You're in a different lane. Nobody does that and you know that. Nobody does that. Nobody does that and you just did it. 
Now you would say, okay, Mateo, but I have watched your review of the Cozarex Snail Mutant Power Essence, and you also liked every ingredient in that as well. Until I say, yes, that is true, sis. Okay, you got me on that. <laughs> However, I did not know that I needed bee venom in my skin routine until I had it and I tried it. I literally transformed in a bee now. I am part of the hive. I mean, I've been part of the Beyonce hive for years, but now I'm part of the actual hive. Not only did you truly blow out of the window all the just worries that I had with this, because let's be real, as I told you guys already, when I first bought this, I was like, okay, but what about the bee venom in it? Like, what do you mean bee venom? But truly, I have not seen no side effects, only positive things, which brings me to what results have I seen? Well, first of all, definitely the improvement in glowiness. I am wearing a little bit of highlighter now, as usual, but girl, look at the material. This glowiness is all skincare right there. Truly improvement in glowiness, in hydration, moisturization. I also feel like my skin is a little bit more tighter and firmer. Like it is visibly more vibrant and more just radiant. And also, once again, the light reflectivity. So basically right now, can you see that I'm reflecting light right here on this cheekbone? Even if I weren't wearing highlighter, I feel like just the way the light reflects and bounce on my cheekbone has been gone higher. So my cheekbone is basically higher than it used to be before. And I'm totally happy with that. Like, sign me on. I do get my fillers in the cheeks, but if I can get, like, more lift for free, then sign me up. Well, I mean, it ain't free, but it's definitely cheaper than filler. And also the bee venom in this. Now, I mean, I don't know if I can attribute any specific results on my skin to the bee venom, but just the idea of it, I don't know, it makes me feel like a savage, you know? Classy, bougie, nasty. Like, ooh, girl, look at me. I'm applying bee venom on my skin. What do you gotta offer? I gotta offer bee venom, sis. Look at my titties, how they bouncing off with this bee venom. <laughs> This, I feel like it gives me the same results that this one, just this one delivers a whole different level. Also, on top of that, I love that this is fragrance-free, even though it does have a very nice, delicate smell, almost imperceptible, which I like my skincare to be imperceptibly smelling like. Yes, indeed. Also, I love how spreadable it is. I can literally use one pumpish on my entire this side of the face, another pump on this side of the face. I really like, again, the consistency. It is a little bit thicker and just more moisturizing, I feel, than the Snail Mutant Power Essence by Cozarex. This is definitely more liquidy, but anyways, why am I continuing to compare this? I actually want to make an entire video dedicated to comparing these two, see which one actually works better. So I'm gonna stop right here. Moving on to one thing that I did not like, and you might have seen that in the vlogs, I really wanted to see if this was gonna peel up as much as the Cozarex did. It did. It did truly peel, I feel like even worse than the Cozarex Snail Mutant Power Essence, and I definitely know why. Just keep that in mind, this will will peel up on you with certain ingredients. Now, I have tried this with retinol, niacinamides, and peptides, or also AHAs, BHAs, salicylic acid, lactic acid, glycolic acid, none of that, it, you will be fine with that. However, if you want to use this with vitamin Cs or other antioxidants, this will peel up. I don't know why, maybe it's a chemical reaction, snails don't like antioxidants, but so I would say my advice is most people actually use antioxidants in their morning skincare routine, therefore I would advise you to use this in your nighttime skincare routine. On top of that, I want to just address a little thing as to how often should you use this. I would honestly say you could use this on the daily even. I don't see why you couldn't. However, I wouldn't say use it both in the morning and at night. The fact that this contains bee venom, it just makes it a little bit more harsher, stronger. If you literally think about it, venom, the name of it, also the fact they had to put all the way there in Plantago to contrast the burning effects and the chemical burn that could give you a bee venom. I definitely say pay attention with that sis. If you have sensitive skin, I would maybe use it off and on. So maybe one night use it, another night don't use it. If you have dry skin but not sensitive, then go ahead and use it every night. Oily skin, go ahead and use it every night. Normal skin, go ahead and use it every night. As you can see, you can work your way around using this and the problem of it peeling up wouldn't even be a thing. Also, it was weird that it was just peeling up on my neck and not on my face. I don't know how that happened. I tried it again a second time to see and once again only on my neck like what's wrong with my neck Benton is you trying to tell me something like is my neck Buck while this is not a soup kitchen let's straighten that neck up and act like we're taking a photo shoot but 
anyways guys also touching on the aspect of not mixing with certain ingredients I have to say if you weren't to worry about the peeling up aspect there would be no reason for you to not mix this with anything in your routine you know how you can't mix some ingredients some specific ingredients in your skincare like for example you can't mix retinols with AHAs because they clash and they have different pHs there are just some rules in skincare okay it is all about rules and you do not want to end up in skincare jail this is what we all are trying here in thriving for honestly could you stop sticking on my cheek it has been the second time what is wrong with you thank you so as i was saying <laughs> There is really no reason why you should be worried of this clashing with some of your ingredients. It could go with literally everything and it will not cause you any trouble. She, she a good girl. She has been educated and raised up well with good manners and good values indeed. This is for you, this is for you. I usually do not crap products. Clap, not crap. That is two completely different things. I usually crap on products, but I don't clap on products. I do, however, clap for you. Even though I have this, I'm gravitating towards this. So anyways, guys, now if you were to ask me the question, Mateo, would you be using this in your skin routine once this experiment is over? I feel like it's no secret and it's obvious for everybody that I would definitely use this in my skin routine forever. I will say the only thing that I don't like is maybe the price point. And that is because I want to say this is a lot cheaper. I feel like it was 10 pounds something, but that was 100 ml. You can see the difference in the bottle -age, how thicker and bigger this is. You could use this for... We know what you could use this for. This, it really wouldn't give you no pleasure in that case. You barely could feel it. You would be asking it, are you in? She was, the, you know, the whore of charm school. A slatacious whore. <laughs> And this is only 60 ml. Now I have to say, I get why this is more expensive. It's because of the bee venom. But anyways, I'm truly impressed. So I will tell you where I brought this from. So first of all, you know that your girl never steps outside a house. It is dangerous to be outside, okay? There is the sun, there is other people. And we all know all murders happen mostly outside of your house. So it's truly best to <laughs> stay inside. So you can literally find this on Amazon with your Amazon Prime, sis. And that would run you 19 23 Royal British Pounds. Once again, for 60 ml, honestly, I could see this running me a month-ish of daily use. If you're not using this daily, then I would say also two months. But so you know that your girl has got you covered. So if you want to go buy this, then I found the cheapest one thing that I could find, both on Amazon US and Amazon UK. And I linked it down below for you to buy it in the pinned comment. So if you want to go buy this, literally, all you got to do is click that link. However, I can get that maybe some of us are a little bit more grifty and nifty. With our hard-earned coins, I know that I am exactly that. So I personally actually bought this on YesDao, which is the Korean website. There ain't no Amazon Prime there, okay? So the shipping times will be a lot longer, but you know it's a give and take, like everything in every relationship. So this on YesDao, I actually have the price right here. It would run you 13.47 Royal British Pounds. Also, if you maybe want to go buy it from YesDao instead, then I will have the link down below for where you can purchase this from. And also, sis, if you maybe want to save a little bit more of X, extra coins, then what I recommend is you use code RANDOMS and check out for a discount on your total order. But anyways, ma'am, lastly, the last thing, may I interest you, if you are still watching, into maybe subscribing and turn the bell icon so you don't miss any of the uploads. I know that this seems very much like a QVC commercial, but trust me, it is free. If you maybe are concerned about maybe acne, maybe wrinkles, or maybe just getting your skincare routine down to a T, well, literally, sis, this channel is all about that. RANDOMS, we are all crazy for skincare as you can tell and we would love to have you here Mwah! join and also if you maybe want to see a little bit more behind the scene and you cannot get enough of me and honestly I don't blame you because I cannot get enough of myself either I truly have decided to live with myself 24 7 it can be hard sometimes but most of the time I get along with myself if you want to follow me all you got to do is follow me on my Instagram there as well and also if you maybe want to DM me one-on-one -on -one, you maybe have some skin issues and you want to talk and you want a little bit more help then girl don't hesitate to DM me on my Instagram as well i would love to help you out but anyways to my random stores to watching you know what time of the video it is now it is time for the italian word of the video and since this video was all about this benton snail bee content high essence the italian word of the video is actually going to be 
Ape, which is B in English. Now you know how there's, I don't know the word in English, but there's another variation of the bee. Like she's the sister, because the bee dies when she stings you, she dead. But this other girl, the sister, she's a lot more bitter. She can sting you and still be alive. Like she got more lives than a cat. But so you know that I always like to put the Italian word of the video in context if you were maybe to find yourself in Italy. So if you maybe get stung by a bee in Italy and you have to scream ow, aiuto, which is help. Sono stato punto, I was stung. Da, which is by una ape. A bee. It is gonna be useful because honestly, how many times have you been stung by a bee in your life? Tell me, because me personally, myself, zero times. I'm lucky, I'm blessed. It's kind of like on my resume. It is one of my special talents. But anyway, sis, what you should do now if you don't want to be stung by a bee. I am in contact with bees. The beehives from Beyonce, sisters, join at the hip. So if you don't want me to send over the Beyonce stance, because they can be aggressive, what you should do is watch whatever of these two videos right here. You're just going to be as informative, just as funny, just as entertaining, just as whatever this was for you. But oh, remember to be a random while you're at it and always be random. Yes, ma'am. Mm -mm -mm. No, but serious, with my frat, I was, I was real. If you don't click one of these two, I will send you the beehive and they will start rehearsing the Formation World Tour at the Super Bowl on you. Do you want that? No, watch. 